Alrighty, the mage build. Let me go over exactly what I do, where, and how I run it. So for the equipment, I am running Lusat's Quenchstone. Um, I'm only running this because it basically enhances power of all sorceries. Um, consumes additional FP, but that doesn't matter. I'll explain in a little bit. Um, so I use this helmet. There are a couple other ones you can use that kind of have similar effects. I probably would be using the spell blades, but this lowers my HP to 691 with my vigor at 25, and that's important, and I'll explain later, but it's why I have to run this one. Um, so the armor I'm wearing is the spell blades. Uh, basically, this increases um, glintstone sorcery. So that's Comet and the Laser are Glintstone Sorceries, so this will buff those. So that's why I run this whole armor set, it's just more damage. Um, the Talismans, this one, raises potency of Sorceries, more damage. Um, Graven School. Uh, this um, raises my Intelligence and my Mind, basically more damage. You take more damage, but that doesn't matter uh, it's because of this, so I'm explaining that now. Um, it's just more damage. The Red Feather Brand Sword, so why taking more damage doesn't matter is because this raises attack power when HP is low. I use this in tandem with the Mimic. The reason why I said it was important that I have to wear this headset is because this puts my health at 691, where the Mimic costs 660 HP to use. So I have enough HP left to, to proc this. So that's why I use that. Without this, you're not going to have as much damage. Uh, this raises intelligence, obviously just more DPS. So that's all of the items in armor. Um, the physic that I use, which is really important. Um, so I use uh, the intelligence knot, uh, increases intelligence, obviously just more DPS. Then I use the uh, cerulean hidden tier, eliminates all FP consumption. So that's super important because this buff, Terra Magica, it's like an AoE area, and anyone standing within it um, has increased damage. So this right here, and this, will usually drain your FP. But with the Physic, it, it won't. So if you pop the Physic, you can cast everything. So yeah, that's basically the um, um the build that you run. So I run Mimic to get my health to um, the 15% HP, and then I use the Physic that eliminates FP usage. Those are the two most important parts. So in scenarios where I can't just hold the laser on a boss, they like aggro too quick or jump around, I guess. Um, I'll try to just hit them with the Comet. If they continue to jump around, just pick them down with a smaller spell. Don't worry about, you know, the Branch Sword. This, you can't do this on all, um, bosses or enemies, but there are a few that you can do. Um, uh, in the description below, I'll link, um, a video of the Lich Dragon Fortis Axe that I, uh, deleted with this build. And there are a couple other bosses you can do the same thing. So, yeah, that's basically everything. Um, I don't know if there's actually anything that can become more OP than what this is, um, but who knows. We'll have to get to uh, the last playthrough and test it out. Thanks for stopping by. That's the build.